Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In today's lecture is about investment and portfolio management MGT 531. Today is, uh, we are going to have a third lecture and the reference book is similar as we discussed earlier and that is uh, in, uh, by Christina in, written in 2010 about the uh, portfolio management and investment. Lecture number three. First of all, I will discuss the summary of the last lecture, types of investing. We discussed in the last lecture and we discussed the direct investing as well as indirect type of investing. Secondly, we discussed investment environment. We discussed the concept of marketability and uh, liquidity. And uh, then we discussed the characteristics of investment vehicles. In investment vehicles, we discussed different types of investment and uh, the, the main types were certificates of deposit and treasury bills. Today's contents are about uh, the further details of investment vehicles, that is we will discuss the further types of investment vehicles. We are going to discuss the third important type of uh, the investment vehicle which is commercial paper which are basically about the short term investments. Uh, the, this type is known as commercial paper. Commercial paper is the name for short term unsecured promissory notes issued by corporation. Commercial paper is a mean of short term borrowing by large corporations. Large well established corporations have found that borrowing directly from investors through commercial paper is cheaper than relying solely on bank loans. Therefore, we can say that this is very important type of borrowing are generating funds which is through commercial papers because um, it is known that commercial papers can generate the form, funds at cheap rates rather than the loans through the banks. So we can say that borrowing from the banks is relatively costly as compared to commercial papers. Commercial paper is issued either directly from the firm to the investor or through an intermediary. Again, we can say that we have two types of ways of funds generation with the help of commercial papers. First, we can uh, we can take directly from the uh, firm uh, these funds from the firm, or we can use the intermediary bodies. Commercial papers like uh, T bills or the treasury bills is issued at discount rate. The most uh, common maturity range of commercial paper is 30 to 60 days or less. So we can say that it takes smaller time period to mature for the commercial papers. The commercial paper is riskier than treasury bills because there is a larger risk th uh, that a corporation will default. If the, uh, if the corporation may default, then commercial papers, they are riskier than the treasury bills. Also, commercial paper is not easily bought and sold after it is used. That is, we can say that reused uh, commercial paper cannot be easily uh, cannot be easy to bought to buy and sell because the issues are relatively small compared with the treasury bills, and hence the market is not liquid. So we can say that commercial papers, because they are not printed in larger number, they uh, they are printed in smaller numbers, and we can say uh, th they are not as liquid as the um, uh, 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 they are not as liquid as the treasury bills. The fourth important type of short term uh, generation of the funds is through bankers ex uh, acceptance. Bankers acceptance are the vehicles created, by uh, created to facilitate commercial trade transactions. These vehicles are called bankers acceptance because a bank accepts the responsibility to repay a loan to the holder of the vehicle in case the debtor fails to perform. That is, we can say that if the if the debtor cannot uh, provide his loan uh, or pay back his loan properly, then uh, he, he or she is already promised, the investor is already promised by the bank to repay the loan that is known as the banker's acceptance that they should take the acceptance letter from the bank in advance that the bank will pay their loan if they are uh, not able to uh, to repay uh, their loan as far as these this type of uh, uh, gen uh, generation of the funds is concerned. Bankers acceptance are short term fixed income securities that are created by non-financial firm whose payment is, is guaranteed by a bank. So we can say that banker acceptance although they are short term and they are they involve fixed income securities but the bank uh, gives the guarantee to do this. 
to the firm. This short term loan contract typically has a higher interest rate than similar short term securities to compensate for the default risk. So we can say that these short term loans are the banker's acceptance involves a larger rate of interest than the normal rate of uh, interest for the other securities because they involve larger acceptance in the case that if the uh, la larger uh, because they involve the larger risk in the case that the uh, firm may fail to provide the loan back. Since bank bankers acceptance are not standardized there is no active trading of these securities. So we can say that because they are not the acceptance of the uh, of the loan by the to pay back the loan of the defaulter firm by the bank is not standardized. Therefore, we can say that they are not tra traded largely in the um, in the market. Fifth important type is repurchase agreement. This is often known as repo. This type of Agreement is also known as repo, is the sale of the security with the commitment by the seller to buy the security back from the purchaser at a specified price at a designated future date. Therefore, we can say that the purchaser of this type of agreement is likely or is intended or is by the agreement is promised to pay back or to sell this agreement again within the specified time period which is decided between the uh, provider and between the uh, purchaser of the this type of uh, agreement. Basically a repo is a collateralized, collectivized short term loan where collateral, collateral is a security. That is the individual purchaser has to provide the security or the collateral to the, uh, to the provider of the agreement in order to um, in the case that the firm will uh, sell within the specified time this agreement. The collateral in a repo may be treasury security, other money market securities. The difference between the purchase price and the sale price is that interest of interest cost of the loan from which repo rate can be calculated. So we can say that the difference between the sale price of this agreement and the purchase price of this agreement is the interest cost of the loan. Or this interest cost se hum repo rate jo hai wo uh, calculate kar sakte hain aur repo rate jo hai wo kaun sa rate hai jiske upar dobara se purchase karke phir, uh, uh, phir sell uh, jo hai is agreement ko kiya jata hai. Because of concern about default risk the length of the maturity of repo is very short. So it is quite possible that the firm who is buying this agreement may default to repo jo time and maturity ka wo short hota hai, so that within a short time period it is possible it may be decided or it may be agreed upon between two bodies that the purchaser of the agreement will sell this, uh, this agreement. If the agreement is for loan of the funds for one day it is called overnight repo. So we can say that the, that the life or the maturity time of these funds is so short that it may be of one day. Or agar ye agreement jo ek din ka ho aur hum kahen ki jo purchaser of the agreement hai wo ek din ke baad isko sell kar dega aur apne paise wapas le lega to overnight this is known as overnight repo. If the term of the agreement is for more than one day it is called term repo. Term repo is linked with the agreement agar ye ek din se zyada ka ho. Overnight repo wo hota hai jo ek din ka ho. When it is for more than one day, to it is known as repo. It is called repo. A, rep a reverse repo is the opposite of repo. To opposite uh, direction of the repo when we go opposite of the rep repo is known as reverse repo. Repo in this transaction a corporation buys the securities with agreement to sell them at a specified price and specified time. So we can say that jo is tra, ye transaction hai, is me corporation securities is agreement ke saath buy karti hai ke wo inko specified time period mein or specified price ke upar sell back kar deki. Using repos help to increase the liquidity in the money market. Or repo jo hai, is a liquid uh, money market mein liquidity bad jati hai. Kyunki iski life jo hai, wo short hai. It, comp it may comprise of one day, it may comprise of more than 
one day or within few days the maturity occurs therefore the liquid money again comes in the uh, money market it again comes in the financial market or capital market therefore we can say that liquidity is the level of the liquidity increases with the uh, purchase and with the sale of these type of agreements our focus in this course further will not be investment in short term vehicles so therefore we are going to finish our types of short term vehicles investment in up to, up to here and we will be back to our previous topic in which we were discussing the main types of investment vehicles but it is useful for the investors to know that short term investment vehicles provide the uh, possibility for the temporary investing of money and funds तो इट लेकिन जो शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट है शॉर्ट टर्म सर्टिफिकेट्स हम परचेज करते हैं ट्रेजरी बिल्स हम परचेज करते हैं जो हम रिपो एग्रीमेंट्स करते हैं इन सब में वी आर एबल टू हैव द कैश फंड्स वी आर एबल टू जनरेट मनी विद इन शॉर्ट टाइम पीरियड्स दैट इज दैट इज स्पेसिफाइड लेस देन वन ईयर टाइम पीरियड और ये कुछ मंथ्स का भी होता है ये कुछ दिनों का भी होता है तो वी कैन से टाइप ऑफ एग्रीमेंट टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट विच आर कमिंग अंडर दॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट दे आर दे आर लाइकली टू मेक द मनी मार्केट मोर लिक्विड तो लिक्विडिटी जो है वो मनी मार्केट में बढ़ जाती है कैश एंड फंड आर अवेलेबल इमीजिएटली और इन्वेस्ट द लास्ट पॉइंट एज फार एज दिस डिस्कशन इज कंसर्न इज डेट इन्वेस्टर्स यूज दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट मैनेजिंग देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट portfolio that is they are able to finance their assets which they are going to keep in the, their portfolio holdings with the help of all these uh, short term investments with the help of purchase and sale of these short term investments then we have uh, among the main type of financial investment the, the second important after the short term investment is fixed income securities what are fixed income securities these are those which return is fixed up to some recovery date are indefinitely kuch recovery date hoti hai jis tak iska jo time period hota hai income jo hoti hai wo fix hoti hai paybacks fix hote hain the fixed amounts may be stated in money terms are indexed to some measure of the price level this type of financial investment is presented by two different groups of securities जो इस तरह की फाइनेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट है जिसको हम फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज कहते हैं इनको हम दो ग्रुप्स की, की से इंडिकेट कर सकते हैं फर्स्ट ग्रुप इज लॉन्ग टर्म डेट सिक्योरिटीज इज अबाउट लॉन्ग टर्म डेट सिक्योरिटीज एंड सेकंड इज प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक व्हाट आर लॉन्ग टर्म सिक्योरिटीज लॉन्ग टर्म डेट सिक्योरिटीज कैन बी डिस्क्राइब एज लॉन्ग टर्म डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट representing the issuer's contractual obligation ye long term jo debt securities hoti hain ya instruments hote hain ye indicate karte hain jo issue kar raha hai uska contractual obligation kya hai uski uska apna uske uska objective kya hai to sell these securities what type of objectives the long term debt uh, provider uh, security providers have decided and uh, they they intended to decide with their purchaser or with their client long term securities have maturity of longer than 1 year kyunki ye long term hai isliye ye ek saal se zyada ke time period mein mature hoti hai the buyer or the investor of the security is is lending money to the issuer or who undertake obligation periodically to pay interest in this loan and repay the principal at a stated maturity date तो वी कैन से कि जो इन सिक्योरिटीज को परचेज करते हैं उन्होंने एक एग्रीमेंट किया होता है अपने अपने उस कॉरपोरेशन के साथ जिनसे वो परचेज करते हैं कि वो इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑन दिस लोन जो है वो स्पेसिफिक डेट को पे करेंगे और प्रिंसिपल जो है वो मेच्योरिटी डेट के ऊपर पे बैक करेंगे लॉन्ग टर्म डेट सिक्योरिटीज आर ट्रेटेड इन द कैपिटल मार्केट ये कैपिटल मार्केट में इनको हम ट्रेड करते हैं ये डेफिनेटली इट इज मनी मार्केट इट इज कैपिटल मार्केट वेयर दी फाइनेंस परचेज एंड सेल ऑफ दीज फाइनेंस आर टेकिंग प्लेस टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंस आर टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम द इन्वेस्टर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दी सिक्योरिटीज कैन बी ट्रेटेड एज सेफ एसेट 
تو انویسٹر جو ہوتے ہیں وہ ان کو سیف ایسٹس کہتے ہیں کہ لانگ ٹرم سیکیورٹیز دے آر سیف دے از نو رسک انوال ویڈ دیز اور دے آر لائکلی ٹو ہیو دی سپیسیویٹ بینیفیٹ آوٹ آف فیٹ دے آر لائکلی ٹو ہیو دی دی پرنسپل ایمانٹ ایڈ دی سٹیٹی ڈیٹ اور ایڈ دی سپیسیفائیڈ ڈیسائیڈ ڈیٹ بٹ ان ریالیٹی دی سیفٹی آف دی انویسٹمنٹ ایس فکسٹ دی سیفٹی آف انویسٹمنٹ ان فکسٹ انکم سیکیورٹی سٹرونگلی ریلیٹی ویڈی ڈیفالٹ رسک آف این ایشور لیکن جو what is the reason behind the safe asset safe asset کے behind reason یہ ہے کہ جو ایشور کورپریشن ہے it should not be default کہ وہ default نہ ہو only then we can say that these uh, provision or sale of these uh, securities is safe if the issuing corporation is not likely to default or if there is a risk that uh, the, uh, default risk that the issuing corporation will default then they are no more safe the major representative of long term debt securities are bond So we can, what, one important type of these long-term debt securities are bonds. Today, there are a big variety of different kinds of bonds. They differ not only by the different issuers, for example, government, municipals, companies, uh, agencies, etc., but by different schemes of interest payments, which is a result of bringing financial innovations to the long-term debt security market. تو جو بانڈز ہیں یہ بہت سارے گروپ جو ان کو سیل کر رہے ہیں اور وہ دے ہیو دیر انٹرسٹ اور دے ون اوبجیکٹیو اس تو برنگ دی فائنینچل انویشن ان دی لانگ ٹیم ڈیٹ سیکیورٹیز مارکیٹ ایس ڈیمانڈ فور بورنگ دی فنڈز فرون دی کیپٹل مارکیٹس اس گروئنگ دی لانگ ٹیم ڈیٹ سیکیورٹی ٹو ڈیز آر پریویلنگ ان دی گلوبر مارکیٹ تو ون امپورٹنٹ ایسپیکٹ ون پوزیٹیو ایسپیکٹ آف دی these uh, securities are provision of long term securities is that because the demand for funds is emerging in the capital market more and more investors and new investors at all levels at all scales are emerging in the market and a number of people are taking interest to, to be invested and to generate the wealth with the help of the financial investment so we can say that this concept or this phenomena is becoming a global phenomena and is likely to be prevalent in the global market so at international level the, in the large number of investors are being emerged and are growing in order to take the investment in the financial assets and it has really become the challenge for investors to pick long term debt securities relevant to his or her investment expectations including the safety of the investment so we can say that it has become the challenge for the investors ke wo jo hai wo funds apne generate kare aur apne jo investment ke expectations hai unko fulfill kare aur safety of the investment ko secure kare that is their investment should be secure aur with the help of this secure and safe investment they are likely to fulfill their own uh, intentions uh, with uh, with respect to investment and they are likely to fulfill and accomplish their expectations about the achievement and about the outcomes of investment we will examine the different kinds of long term debt securities and their features which are important to understand the investors uh, to understand by the invest is in chapter number 5 together with the other aspects in decision making investment in bonds so we will inshallah discuss in chapter number 5 ke what are different types of long term debt securities which should be understand by the investors to undertake their investment and what are the other types of bond which the uh, investor should take into account in order to keep the bonds in their uh, portfolio holdings second important type is preferred stocks preferred stocks are uh, the equity securities which has uh, infinitive life and pay dividends jin se jin ki infinitive life hoti hai preferred stocks are those stocks which are preferred and they they are equity securities they have infinitive uh, life and they pay the dividend to the investors the preferred stock is attributed to the type of fixed income securities because the dividend for preferred stock is fixed in amount and known in advance to hum keh sakte hain ki this is important type of fixed income securities kyunki inka dividend jo hota hai dividend for the preferred stock is uh, is fixed 
कि जो भी हम स्टॉक प्रेफर करते हैं वट एवर टाइप ऑफ स्टॉक वी आर लाइकली टू परचेज दे गिव स्पेसिफिक डिविडेंड और वी हैव दी नॉलेज ऑफ इट इन एडवांस के हमें क्या जो है वी आर लाइकली टू गेट वट आउट ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट दो दिस सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइड फॉर द इन्वेस्टर्स द फ्लो ऑफ इनकम वेरी सिमिलर टू डेट ऑफ द बॉन्ड लेकिन इसकी एक इम्पॉर्टेंट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट रेलिवेंट टू दी प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक इज कि इसमें जो फ्लो ऑफ इनकम है इज सिमिलर टू डेट ऑफ दी बॉन्ड के नेचर ऑफ द परचेज एंड सेल एंड फ्लो ऑफ एंड सर्कल ऑफ इनकम विद दी हेल्प ऑफ प्रॉफिट स्टॉक इज सेम एज वी कैन गेट विद दी हेल्प सर्कुलर फ्लो ऑफ बॉन्ड्स हाउ एवर द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक एंड बॉन्ड्स इज डेट फॉर प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक द फ्लो आर फॉर एवर and if the stock is not callable the preferred stock holders are paid after the debt securities holders but before the common stock holders in terms of priorities in payment of income and in case of liquidation of the company if the issuer fails to pay the dividend in any year the unpaid dividend will have to be paid if the issue is a cumulative this is this is another important point to be noted that if if the issuing company or corporation cannot pay the dividend of the for this preferred stock in in the year or in the time specified to unpaid dividend will be accumulated and will the will be will be paid uh, afterwards or the corporation will be liable to pay uh, pay the accumulated dividend uh, afterwards if the preferred stock is issued as non cumulative dividend for the years with losses do not have to be paid <coughs> usually same right to vote in general meeting for preferred stockholders are suspended because of having the features attributed for both equity and fixed income securities preferred stock is known as hybrid security चूंकि प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक जो है इसमें इक्विटी के और फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज के जो है ज्वाइंट फीचर्स होते हैं कंबाइंड फीचर्स इट 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 हैज कंबाइंड एंड एट्रीब्यूट्स ऑफ एक बहुत इक्विटी एंड फिक्स इनकम सिक्योरिटीज द प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक दे आर नोन एज हाइब्रिड सिक्योरिटी दी थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ the मेन मेन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ व्हीकल इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हीकल्स इज कॉमन स्टॉक what is common stock common stock is the other type of investment vehicle which is one of most popular among investors with long term horizon of their investment that we can say that common stock is one type of the instrument of investment or tool of investment which is most likely which is preferred by the uh, and attractive to the investors among long term horizon common stock uh the common what is common stock of uh, long term securities common stock represents the ownership interest of corporations or the equity of the stock holders holders of common stock are entitled to attend and to vote at general meeting of shareholders to receive declared dividend and to receive their share of residual assets if any if the corporation is bankrupt so therefore we can say that common stock it is a common among the seller of the stock and among the buyer of the stock they have their uh, mutual agreement decided upon this stock the issuer of this uh, common stock are the companies which seek to receive the funds in the market and through are uh, and though are going public so we know that uh, the investors who are likely to invest in the financial market they they uh, raise different ways in order to finance their investment and common stock is one of them and common stock are, are those those companies uh, those uh, issue these common stock in order to generate their funds for their own investment the issuing common stock and selling them in the market enables the company to raise additional equity capital more easily when higher than other 
sources. So we can say that and we, we come to know that the common stock is important type of uh, generation of the funds and uh, to finance the investment that is the provider of the common stocks are the issuing companies they uh, sell the stock they generate their funds and then uh, sell them in the market they can raise their uh, their capital have capital which is another um, an attractive source of generating the uh, resources and funds thus many companies are issuing their common stock which are, are traded in uh, financial markets and investors have wide possibilities for choosing this type of securities for the investment common stock is basically an important source of uh, financing the investment level it provides the possibility for the investors to have the funds and uh, they function in the financial market and financial uh, and the in financial market the investors and the provider of common stock is an important relationship with the purchasers of this the the questions about uh, the investors for investment in common stock decisions making will be discussed in the chapter uh, number 4 that uh, that is we will in detail discuss the common stock uh, types of common stock and the details of common stock will be discussed in chapter number 4 uh, in the uh, financial markets then we have another important type of investment of uh, the uh, in, uh, type of investment in order to generate the resources which is known as speculative investment vehicles this this important type of investment follow the term speculation and it could be defined as investment which are highly risky and high investment returns in the speculative type of investment is the type which involve high risk of investment and which involve high return to the investment and as we discussed earlier that all those investment which are highly risky they provide the high returns to the uh, to the corporation they are likely to provide the high returns to the firm uh, uh, we can say that there is positive relationship between the risk and return risk or return ke darmiyan mein positive relationship hai they move in the same direction jo risky project hote hain they provide higher risk uh, returns aur do jo less risky hote hain they provide less returns aur jin mein risk involved nahi hota unka returns jo hota hai wo least hota hai aur those companies are investors who are likely and who are loving to uh, to encounter the risk they are likely to earn higher returns yeah in other words we can say that jo investors are likely and loving to have higher returns out of their investment they 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 like to under, uh, invest in the risky projects so using these investment vehicles speculators try to buy low and to sell high so in is there in sorry if you look at the types of the investment the speculators the effort is the attitude of the speculators attitude of the speculators is that they want to buy at at low rates wo aise investments purchase karte hain aise certificates purchase karte hain aise shares purchase karte hain aise bonds purchase karte hain jin ki cost kam hoti hai aur unko high wo unko bahut zyada high rate ke upar sell karte hain aur they uh, they, uh, they they look for the situation for the suitable situation aur unka jo primary objective hota hai their primary concern is with the anticipation of high profit okay unko or they anticipate the high profit or wo they want to fulfill their expectations in the market to wo market mein is tarah ki situation ko aur is tarah ki fluctuations ko copy karte hain is tarah ki fluctuations ke sath wo cope karte hain ke jin mein se they are likely to invest in the projects they are likely to invest in the shares they are likely to purchase the instruments and the items uh, when their prices are low and they are at lowest price level then they try to uh, sell them look look uh, far to sell when their prices are at higher level so that they are able to earn the higher level of profit so therefore we can say they are they are minimizers of cost the speculators they have very important attitude as an investor and uh, um, uh, in order to minimize their cost of investment and maximize their benefit of investment so as far as the cost of investment and benefit and of investment is concerned when we look at the concept together so uh, together the concept is known as least cost combination and this concept we, uh, we touched in the last lecture also the least cost combination jo hai 
اس کا اوجیکٹیو ہی ہوتا ہے کہ جو انڈیویچول انویسٹر ہے وہ اپنی کاؤس کو کم سے کم رکھتا ہے اور اپنے پروفٹ کو ہائے سے ہائے رکھتا ہے فار ایکزیمپل اس کا جو کاؤس کا کب ہوگا وہ یوں ہوگا جس میں وہ اس پوائنٹ کے اوپر پرچیز کرتا ہے this is the cost curve for the investor یا فار ایکزیمپل سپیکولیٹر کہہ لیں تو cost curve cost curve for any particular asset is تو یہ minimum point ہے جس کے اوپر وہ try to purchase اور this is the this is let's say ہم کہتے ہیں کہ average cost of his investment اس کی average cost of investment جو ہے وہ اس کف سے indicate ہوتی ہے تو اس میں یہ minimum point ہے جس کو ہم e points indicate کر رہے ہیں اور vertical axis کے اوپر جو ہے وہ cost ہے اور یہاں بھی اس کا اس کے units ہیں units of of purchase کہ وہ اپنی پرچیز کے اس کے کتنے یونٹس ہیں جن کو وہ پرچیز کر رہا ہے اور وہ منیمم کاؤسٹ کے اوپر رہتا ہے ان دس کنسر تو یہ جو منیمم کاؤسٹ ہے it leads to maximize his benefit اس کی وجہ سے اس کا benefit جو ہے وہ maximize ہو جاتا ہے تو second جو point ہے وہ یہ ہے تو as far as the selling is concerned جب ہم selling کی بات کرتے ہیں تو selling میں وہ اس کا کب جو ہے وہ اس type کا ہوتا ہے speculator wants to have maximum benefit maximum profit out of out of his profit out of maximum benefit and profit out of his investment یہ peak point ہے اس peak point کا مطلب یہ ہے کہ he is able to acquire maximum profit اور maximum profit جو ہے is the profit at which he is getting maximum benefit of his investment اور یہاں سے if we look at to the left of this point to the left of this point we say profit is increasing and at this point peak point it is at maximum level and to the right of this point we can say that it is declining and it moves downward it tells us that now the profit is going down and as far as we can say that as far as the increase in the sale or purchase is for example this is the sale along horizontal axis we have sale along vertical axis we have profit level of profit or level of or the price or the price yeah I'm just okay any price price of the sale to is me to the left of the peak he will not sell his units of investment to the right of the peak he will not again sell a sale at the maximum point he he will sell his unit for example I we can rewrite this curve this is the point at which he is likely to or you have a maximum profit or a minimum cost this tells us the least cost of investment least cost combination is come get a it shows the it shows the feasibility of the investment or is concept come get a feasibility feasibility of the investment or which is very important and which is attractive to the speculator or any other or any other investors in particularly we are saying that primary concern primary concern of our investor is to primary concern of our investor is to have maximum benefit out of it of his investment the only gain from such investment is the positive difference between selling and purchasing price ki uska objective jo hai wo ye hai ki uski selling or purchasing price ke darmiyan mein positive difference so sale price let's say sale price uh, uh, price minus purchase price this combined price bhi kehte hain buying price price the difference should be greater than zero in dono ke darmiyan mein jo difference hai wo positive hai aur ye badhta jaye this is the objective of the uh, of the individual decision maker or the individual investor of course using short term investment strategies investors can use for speculations other investment vehicles uh, such as common stock so we can say ke hamara jo investor hai wo speculation کرتا ہے وہ اور ایسے انویسمنٹ وحیکلز کو پرچیز کرتا ہے ایس فار ایسی شورٹ ٹرم انویسمنٹ سٹریٹیجیز آر کنسرن اور دوسرے جو انویسمنٹ وحیکلز ہیں ان میں کومن سٹاک is one important type but here we try to highlight the specific type of investment which are more risky than other investment vehicles 
because of their uh, uh, because of their nature related with more uncertainty about the changes fluctuating um, fluctuating their price in the future so one important thing is that uh, we have to highlight the uh, issues concerned with with the investment of the individuals, K individuals investors they like to have the uh, speculation which which provides them least cost combination or other instruments for example uh, common stock or uh, the uh, uh, and the specific types of investment which are more risky than जो भी जो भी investment risky होती है वो risky क्यों होती है why the investment is risky why investment is risky? इसकी reason ये होती है कि investment जो होती है वो उसकी price fluctuate करती है because it it shows the fluctuation heavy fluctuations या जिनको हम sharp fluctuations कहते हैं in the market risky जो investment है it basically shows sharp fluctuations sharp deep changes in market और डीप चेंजेस जो होती हैं वो क्या इंडिकेट करती हैं डीप चेंजेस जो हैं वो ये इंडिकेट करती हैं कि इस तरह का कर्व है कभी प्राइस ऊपर है कभी नीचे कभी प्राइस जो है वो फॉर एग्जांपल हम कहते हैं इस पीक के ऊपर पहुंच गई प्राइस ऑफ दी स्टॉक और प्राइस ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट कभी वो यहाँ पे आ गई है कभी अगले लम्हे वो यहाँ पे चली गई अगले लम्हे इफ वी आर लुकिंग एट दी डाटा इन ए डे अगर हम एक डे की बात करें या फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी मोर एलेबरेट दी कॉन्सेप्ट और एक मंथ की बात करें और वी रीड दी ऑब्जर्वेशन वी अंडरटेक दी ऑब्जर्वेशन और वी ऑब्जर्व दी सिचुएशन इन दी मार्केट तो समाइम मार्केट इज वोलेटाइल दी कॉन्सेप्ट इज नोन एज वोलेटाइल तो वी कैन से वोलेटिलिटी इज प्रिवेलिंग इन दी मार्केट जो वोलेटिलिटी होती है एट सम टाइम इट इट टेक्स दी मार्केट टू दी पीक पॉइंट एट दी अदर टाइम इट टेक्स दी मार्केट ब्रिंग्स दी मार्केट एट दी डाउन पॉइंट at the lowest point or the situation becomes uncertain this curve is indicating uncertain situation is ko hum uncertainty kehte hain aur jo uncertainty hoti hai uncertainty is something risky it is something harming isko isse ye bhi ho sakta hai ki hame bahut zyada loss ho jaye at one time we have profit at the other time we have loss or sometime it it may happen ki humne jo hai वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग के प्राइस चूंकि बहुत फ्लक्चुएट कर रहे वी आर एबल टू अर्न हाई बेनिफिट और वी आर एबल टू अर्न हाई बेनिफिट और इट इज क्वाइट पॉसिबल कि वी हैव परचेज द एसेट्स वी हैव परचेज द इन्वेस्टमेंट वी हैव डन द इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हेन द प्राइस इज हाई हाई प्राइस के ऊपर वी हैव मेड द इन्वेस्टमेंट बट इट इज क्वाइट पॉसिबल एट द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट आवर or at the next day the price of the, the asset comes here this is the new price or we have purchased at this point at this point we have bought or we need money and we have to sell here the, this difference basically uh, creates uh, uh, this this difference basically leads to great loss to the investor and creates uncertain situation for the individual at some time it is quite possible we can draw another diagram and we can see that at some time it is quite possible that we purchase at high price for example this is the price where we purchase the uh, asset and it is still increasing increasing with little fluctuations and we we think that the price is going up continuously with little spans with little uh, after some time continuously it is it is increasing and we are going to purchase and sell purchase continue to sell and purchase our asset but sometimes it it may happen it due to some destruction in the economy in the society it may come down it may come down aur ye yahan pe aa jati let's say it is the point a jahan pe price aa jati hai point a ke upar price aa jati hai aur is point ke upar what we should do now there is great difference in the in the price P1 is the price that we have purchased, and A, P, this is the price P2 where we have to sell, or it shows a great loss. This is the uncertain situation whether we are speculators or we are the other investors. We are the investors in of the uh, purchaser of the common stock. What type of investor we are? Uh, we are uh, the fluctuations, the sudden fluctuations, sharp fluctuations, the and shocks 
in the economy they are not likely to be good because they can lead us to lose a lot after making the investment speculation investment vehicles could be presented by different types speculation investment vehicles they have different types for the first type is option first type of speculative investment is option second type is future investment third types are commodities when we undertake, we undertake investment in terms of commodities and that is commodities are traded on exchange for example we have different examples over here coffee grain metals and other commodities when the trade takes place in these commodities what are the options of speculative investment options are the derivative financial markets an option contract gives the owner of the contract the right but not the obligation to buy or to sell a financial asset at a specified price from or to an other party it it is it is right investment but not obligation of the investor uh, by of buyer the contract to buy from any party or to sell a financial uh, asset to any other party it is right but not obligation of the investor we can say it is a option so we we can uh, we can avail if it is better if uh, even uh, we have obligation or not the the buyer of the contract must pay a fee which is the option price for the seller to usko jo buyer hoga contract ka usko definitely option price jo hai wo pay karni padegi there is a big uncertainty about whether the buyer of the option will take the advantage of it and what option price would be relevant so it is a option sort of option option may be good it may be wrong so there is again we can say that situation is uncertain jo hamari situation hai wo uncertain hai uncertainty is prevailing as far as the option option price is uh, concerned because whether the buyer of the option will take because the buyer does not know usko ye andaza nahi hai ki usko isme se advantage hoga ki nahi he is going to get something out of it or not or option price jo hai wo kya hogi ki option what option price aur usko kaun si option price jo hai uske upar sell uh, purchase karni chahiye iski ek reason ye bhi hai ki kyunki uh, we should have the complete information of the market so here we can say ki complete full market information full information of the market as far as, as finance is concerned is important full information in the financial or capital market is important for the individual investor uh, what are the reason because it depends not only on demand and supply in the option market but on the changes in the other market where financial assets included in option contract are traded iski reasons kya hai pehli reason jo hai wo ye hai ki options they are depending upon the demand and supply of the options in the market ki hame kitne options milte hain demand aur supply ke kitne options milte hain in the market ab isme koi bhi cheez ho whether they are options or not ya koi aur type of investment hai ye to hum speculation ki baat kar rahe hain option ki baat kar rahe hain ki currently usko speculator ko jo usko option mil raha hai ki nahi mil raha ठीक है कोई अपनी चीज को इन्वेस्ट करने का और सेल करने का तो अगर सडनली इन्वेस्टमेंट की प्राइस जो है वो बढ़ रही है बढ़ रही है तो उसको अंदाजा नहीं है कि इसकी प्राइस जो और बढ़ेगी अगर वो अभी परचेज कर लेता है चीज तो उसको आगे बेनिफिट मिलेगा और अगर हाई प्राइस अभी है और वो सेल अभी परचेज करता है और प्राइस गिर जाती है तो वट विल बी द रिजल्ट वेदर ही इज एबल आर आर नॉट एबल टू गेट एनी एडवांटेज तो जो सेल एंड प्रोविजन ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट है ये ऑप्शन है फॉर एग्जांपल सप्लाई डिमांड एंड सप्लाई दे आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन एनी फील्ड डिमांड ऑफ दिंग्स एंड सप्लाई ऑफ दिंग्स तो जब भी डिमांड किसी चीज की बढ़ती है वेदर दीज आर दर्टिफिकेट फाइनेंशियल एसेट्स आइटम्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स या गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज हो कमोडिटीज हो डिमांड बढ़ती है तो उनकी प्राइस जो है वो बढ़ जाती है सप्लाई बढ़ती है तो प्राइस जो है वो कम हो जाती है तो ऑप्शन आर बींग इफेक्टेड बाई दी सप्लाई एंड डिमांड ऑन वन हैंड एक बात यह है कि ऑप्शन जो है उसको ये चीज इफेक्ट कर रही है दूसरी बात यह है कि चेंजेस इन दी मार्केट जिस मार्केट में ये ट्रेड हो रही है 
اس میں کون سی عوامل جو ہیں وہ کار فرما ہے اس میں آپشن جس چینجز ان دی ادر مارکیٹ ویدر فائنانشل ویدر فائنانشل ایسٹس انکلوڈڈ ان دی آپشن کانٹریکٹ آر ڈریڈڈ تو مارکیٹ جہاں پہ یہ فائنانشل ایسٹس جس میں وی آر ویلنگ دی آپشن آر ڈریڈڈ دی سچویشن ان ڈیڈ مارکیٹ آلسو انفلوینس دی دی سچویشن فیسٹ بائی دی انویسٹر فیسٹ بائی دی the person who is treating these options though the option is a risky financial instrument for those investors who use it for speculator instead of speculation instead of hedging so we can say that options they are risky for speculators instead of hedgers the main aspects of using options for investment will be discussed in chapter number seven the details of the options being used as investment will be discussed and will be elaborated in the in the future lecture inshallah in chapter number seven secondly we have futures second type of spec speculation investment are uh, include the futures futures are other types of derivatives your derivatives ki ek or type hai. A future contract is an agreement between two parties then they uh, they agree to transact with respect to some financial asset um, at a predetermined price at a specified future date it is it is it is basically transaction between two parties or uh, 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 transaction as far as uh, transaction on the basis of agreement about the investment between two parties okay, they, uh, with respect to some financial asset at predetermined price at some future date okay, two parties one is the investor or the buyer the other one is the seller of of the of seller of uh, of the investment or the financial asset they decide that they will uh, undertake their agreement they they currently they undertake the agreement but they decide to uh, to finalize or to uh, to make the real uh, purchase and sale of that financial asset at some future time period and at future date at some specified predetermined price price they, they they determine already the date they decide already the agreement they decide already but they will they in physically or in real term they will uh, make their transactions in some future decided date one per party further further about future future is that one party agrees to buy the financial asset the other agrees to sell the financial asset what are the features of the future future ke features kya hai کہ ایک دو جو پارٹیز ہیں جنہوں نے آپس میں اگری کمیٹ کیا ہے ان میں سے ایک پارٹی جو ہے اس نے اگری کیا ہے ٹو پرچیز دی فائننشل ایسٹ اور جو دوسری پارٹی ہے اس نے اگری کیا ہے ٹو سیل دی فائننشل ایسٹ ایر سام فیوچر پیریئر اور ایٹ ایس ویری امپورٹنٹ ایٹ ان فیوچر کانٹریکٹ کیس بہت پارٹیز آر ابلیگیٹی ٹو پرفارم اور نیتر پارٹی چارجز دی فی اور ایٹ ایز امپورٹن کہ جو انہوں نے ابھی ڈیسین کیا ہے وہ فیوچر میں دونوں اس کو ابائیڈ بائے کریں بہت پارٹیز ابائیڈ بائے اور دے 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 ابائیڈ بائے دیر اگریمنٹ ان دی فیوچر ٹائم پیریئر دے ابلیگیٹ ٹو پرفارم دیر اگریمنٹ اور آدھر دین ڈینائنگ دیر اگریمنٹ کہ اگر وہ ڈینائی کریں گے تو جو ڈینائی کرے گا اس کو فائن ہوگا اور اس کو چارجز پی کرنے پڑیں گے اور it is quite possible اور it is very important کہ دونوں پارٹی جو انہوں نے ڈیسین کیا تھا in the past in the future time period they should abide by their agreement and their promise اور they realize they realize the agreement اور none of the two deny the agreement اگر ان میں سے کوئی ایک جو ہے وہ deny کرتی ہے تو they will have to pay the fine according decided fine or define according to the situation there are two types of people who deal with options and future contracts دو لوگ ہوتے ہیں جو کہ فیوچر دو طرح کے لوگ ہیں دو طرح کے گروپ سے ہیں پارٹیز ہیں جو کہ آپشنز کو ڈیل کرتی ہیں اور جو فیوچر کو ڈیل کرتی ہیں دونوں سپیکولیشن انویسمنٹ کے دونوں ٹائپس کو ڈیل کرتی ہیں سپیکولیٹرز اینڈ ہیجرز we have two types سپیکولیٹرز اینڈ ہیجرز سپیکولیٹرز بائے اینڈ سیل فیوچرز فور دی سول پرپس آف میکنگ اے پروفیٹ 
by closing out their positions at a price that is better than the initial price. Speculator kya karte hai? Unka objective jota hai, wo profit hota hai. Or unka objective jota hai ki their objective is the profit. As we have discussed earlier, the objective of uh, of the speculator is to make profit. To make profit. Or profit ka profit may they they want to have positive positive difference. They want to have positive difference between uh, between the purchase price. This is buying price, we can say buying price and sale price. On dono ke darmiyan mein, they want to maintain positive difference, they want to make positive uh, profit. Or, is me, wo samitte hai, this, wo samitte hai, jo new price hai, for example, P2, hum isko kenge, wo initial price se better. It is better for them to sell at new price P2, which is greater than P1. Or, P, P2, jo hai, may be the sale price. Or P1, this is the initial price or buying price. So, their objective is because P2 or sale price is higher than P1, so they should be, they should decide and they will be willing to sell at P2, which is higher than P1. Such people neither produce nor use the asset in the ordinary course of business. वो अपना जो एसेट है ना तो उसको परचेज करते हैं ना उसको सेल करते हैं ऑर्डिनरी कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस रूटीन में वो नहीं करते अपना काम ठीक इन ऑर्डिनरी कोर्स ऑफ बिजनेस दे डू नॉट अंडरटेक देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट और अंडरटेक देयर इन्वेस्टमेंट का मतलब ये है कि दे डू नॉट परचेज एंड सेल दे डू नॉट परचेज एंड सेल द फाइनेंशियल एसेट इन ऑर्डिनरी कोर्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट Rather, they look at the situation when they are able to get the, the, the positive benefit of their purchase. In contrary, on the other hand, we can say what the hedges do. Hedges, kya karte? hedges buy and sell futures to offset an otherwise risky position in the market. Wo future mein ja ke future ka decision lete. They like to, uh, like to undertake the future, uh, 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 future investment. So we can say speculators they, they like to uh, they they are more likely to avail the options. कि अगर उनको option मिला है कि उनमें price कम हुई है तो वो purchase कर लेते हैं price ज़्यादा हुई है they have the option of the higher price so they will sell at the higher price. Rather what the hedges do? Hedger क्या करते हैं कि if they have the they buy and sell futures to offset an otherwise risky situation in the market. वो ये करते हैं कि अगर मार्केट में रिस्क चल रहा है, इफ दे थिंक कि मार्केट इज़ वोलेटाइल, तो व्हाट इज़ द रिस्क की सिचुएशन, वोलेटिलिटी इन द मार्केट, ग्रेट चेंजेस, ग्रेट फ्लक्चुएशंस, वोलेटिलिटी इन द मार्केट, अगर मार्केट जब उसमें वोलेटिलिटी है, या फ्लक्चुएशंस है, शार्प पर ग्रेट फ्लक्च so, hedges do they wait? They wait for the future period. They wait for the future period. And in this future period, they will like to buy, they will like to purchase and sell. Because now the market is volatile. It is quite possible that they don't sell the high price on the wrong price. They don't sell the high price on the wrong price. They don't sell the high price. For example, the price is increasing, increasing. थोड़ी सी कम होती है फिर बढ़ती है, थोड़ी सी कम होती है फिर बढ़ती है। तो और अगर हम इस पे परचेज करते हैं, इस पे सेल कर देते हैं, तो we are able to get little difference of the benefit of the purchase and sale price. और if we are likely और हम कह रहे हैं कि बढ़ती जा रही है, सेल कर लें, परचेज कर लें और आगे जाके और बढ़ जाएगी। It is quite possible यहाँ मार्केट डाउन हो जाए, नीचे की तरफ आ जाए। यहाँ ये ऊपर की तरफ जा रही थी। तो यहाँ we have the great difference in the buying and selling price, और we are likely to incur loss, और इसको हम कहते हैं this is the risky situation, और marketing market, our investors in the market they are facing the great fluctuations। 
so in this case the hedges such a situation they are they avoid the situation they wait for the market when the market is stable so they wait for the market ke jab market jo hoti hai wo stable ho jati hai aur they will, uh, will decide to to uh, undertake their investment in the stable market so they wait for stable market hedges they wait for stable market they uh, um, the transactions using derivative instruments are not limited to financial assets there are derivatives involving different commodities so we can say ke transactions jo hoti hain in terms of derivative derivatives uh, in terms of derivative instruments they are not only financial assets but they are the commodities so investment in commodities is also included in the derivatives so derivatives mein humne options ko discuss kiya humne and uh, future ko discuss kiya humne commodities ko we are going to discuss ke they also involve the different commodities for example coffee grain precious metals and other commodities but in this course the target is on derivatives where underlying asset is a financial asset aur yahan pe rather yahan we focus here in this course we focus on the derivatives which include options and which include uh, future that is they are based on the financial assets rather than on the uh, commodities what are other investment tools what are other investment tools among other investment tools we have various types of investment funds bahut sare investment funds hain investment life insurance aur investment funds mein aap jo hai wo investment kar le for example jab hum old age benefit ki hum baat kar lete hain हम विडो स्कीम की बात कर लेते हैं हम ऑर्फन स्कीम की बात कर लेते हैं हम कोई हाउसिंग स्कीम ले लेते हैं जिसमें हम कह रहे हैं कि वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ अदर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इन्वेस्टमेंट सेकंड अदर इन्वेस्टमेंट टूल इज इन्वेस्टमेंट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस लाइफ इंश्योरेंस इज एन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट विच एंड विच वी कैन इन्वेस्ट जिसको हम कहते हैं वी हैव वेरी रेप्यूटेबल इंश्योरेंस लाइफ इंश्योरेंस इन पाकिस्तान विच इज दी पाकिस्तान स्टेट लाइफ एंड सो मैनी अदर्स और बट दी बट वी आर कंसर्न अबाउट डिस्कसिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ इंश्योरेंस पेंशन फंड वी हैव एन अदर टाइप ऑफ अदर इन्वेस्टमेंट टूल्स वी हैव हेज फंड एंड अदर टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट टूल्स अंडर विच वी कैन इन्वेस्ट investment companies uh, are investment funds what are investment funds they receive money from investors these companies are the funds uh, they receive money from the investors with the common objective of pooling the funds and then investing them in securities according to stated set of investment objective ab iska kya objective hai iska objective hai jo funds bane hain ya companies bani hain they receive इन्वेस्टमेंट मनी फ्राम द इन्वेस्टर्स और वो डिफरेंट वेन दे गेट फ्राम ए नंबर ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टर दे पुल द फंड वो फंड को पुल कर लेते हैं दे इन्वेस्ट इन दिक्योरिटीज इन डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट सिक्योरिटीज इन ऑर्डर टू हैव सर्टन बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट और वो उन सिक्योरिटीज में जब इन्वेस्ट करते हैं और दे आर लाइकली टू गेट द बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट आर दी प्रॉफिट आउट ऑफ इट और वो सिक्योरिटीज कौन सी होती हैं विच आर दटेड सेट ऑफ विच हैव स्टेट सेट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव के उसके कुछ इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव होते हैं और इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या होते हैं वट इज द टाइम पीरियड ऑफ द मेच्योरिटी ऑफ दी सिक्योरिटीज उनका टाइम पीरियड क्या है लेवल ऑफ प्रॉफिट क्या होगा और इसके साथ अदर जो चीजें इन्वॉल्व हैं वो क्या होंगी वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंट फंड वन इज ओपन एंड फंड इनको म्यूचुअल फंड भी कहते हैं सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट टाइप ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट कंपनीज आर इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड इज क्लोज एंड फंड और दीज आर दोन हैज दस्ट द एग्जाम्पल कैन बी दी ट्रस्ट वट आर इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड ओपन एंड फंड ओपन एंड फंड जो होते हैं वो क्या होते हैं दे हैव नो प्री डिटर्मंड अमाउंट ऑफ स्टॉक्स आउटस्टैंडिंग they have no pre determined amount of stocks outstanding and they can buy back or issue new shares at any point unke paas koi outstanding pre determined amount of stock nahi hoti balki wo jo shares ko kisi time pe they can buy or they can issue wo issue bhi kar sakte hain aur wo buy bhi kar sakte hain to unka koi already unke agenda mein जो है परी डिटर्मेंट स्टॉक ऑफ स्टॉक नहीं अमाउंट ऑफ स्टॉक नहीं होता 
price of the share is not determined by the demand but by an estimate of current market value of funds net asset per share and a commission अब इसमें उनकी कोई उनकी प्राइस जो है डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन दी डिमांड की कितनी डिमांड उनके शेयर्स के लिए आ रही बट दस दी करंट मार्केट सिचुएशन वैल्यू ऑफ दी फंड्स एसेट बल्कि वो ये देखते हैं कि करंट मार्केट वैल्यू उनके एसेट्स की जो है वो क्या है पर शेयर व्हाट इज दी करंट मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ देयर एसेट पर शेयर और प्लस व्हाट इज दी कमीशन वो इस चीज को देखते हैं रादर देन के दे लुक एट दी डिमांड ऑल तो डिमांड ऑफ दी ऑफ दी शेयर्स बाय दी न्यू इन्वेस्टर्स इज वेरी मच इम्पोर्टेंट बट ओपन एंड फंड डू नॉट इनकॉर्पोरेटेड वट आर क्लोज एंड फंड्स दे आर पब्लिकली ट्रेडेड इन्वेस्टमेंट कंपनीज डेट हैव इशूड ए स्पेसिफाइड नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स एंड कैन ओनली इशू एडिशनल शेयर्स थ्रू ए न्यू पब्लिक इशू or they are publicly uh, traded investment companies they are for the public and publicly traded investment company this may public will uh, 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 purchase and sell the shares and they issue a number of specified number of the shares ki kitne unhone shares jo hai wo sell karne they have already decided or um, uh, they will issue the new shares or additional shares through a new public issue pricing of closed and funds is different from the pricing of open and funds इन दोनों की प्राइस में जो डिफरेंस होता है मार्केट प्राइस कैन डिफर फ्रॉम दी नेव नेव हमने कहा कि वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस के मार्केट प्राइस जो होती है वो नेव की वजह से डिफर करती है व्हाट इज नेव के व्हाट इज द करंट मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द एसेट पर शेयर और व्हाट इज द कमीशन इससे मार्केट प्राइस में फ्लक्चुएशन आती है रादर देन फ्रॉम दी डिमांड तो इन इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज आर सेकेंड Second, are the insurance companies are in the business of assuming the risk of adverse events. First, जो हमारे थे हमारे funds थे second type of other investment tools are insurance companies. Insurance companies they are in the they are in the business of assuming the risk of adverse event. ये company जो होती हैं they promise to pay for the adverse event faced by their buyers. उनके क्लाइंट्स अगर कोई एडवर्स इवेंट्स जो है उसको फेस करते हैं तो दिस कंपनीज विल प्रॉमिस दे आर लाइकली टू टू प्रॉमिस एंड इट इज देयर एजेंडा टू प्रॉमिस दी टू एंड टू फाइनेंस दी एडवर्स इवेंट आर टू फाइनेंस दी लॉस सच एज फायर्स आर एक्सीडेंट्स इन एक्सचेंज फॉर फ्लो ऑफ इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम जो इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम होता है उसके एक्सचेंज के तौर पर दे आर Uh, they 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 have agreed they are they agreed upon financing the fires and losses from fires and accidents and others insurance companies they are investing the accumulated funds in securities treasury bonds corporate stocks and bonds real estate they 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 undertake a number of investments that is the bond stocks treasury bonds three types of insurance companies we have three important types first is life insurance to those who promise uh, those who deal with the life insurance second non life insurance they are also known as property casualty insurance third type reinsurance during recent years in investment in life insurance became very popular investment alternative for individual investors in it is it is growing with the passage of time the interest of the people and the provider of the life insurance is growing over time with the passage of time as an alternative for individual investors the insurance company they are providing the option for the they are providing a choice for the investors to invest in them in order to have uh, in, in order to have the uh, the significant benefit after a long period of time because this hybrid investment product allows uh, to buy the life insurance policy together with possibility to invest accumulated life insurance payments are lump sum for a long selecting uh, investment program relevant to the future expectations so they they basically uh, promise this is a sort of hybrid kyunki ye jo they also provide lump sum amount after a long time period 
और वो ये भी प्रॉमिस करते हैं कि वी कैन ड्रॉ आर मनी बिफोर द टाइम मेचोरिटी ऑफ द टाइम पीरियड इफ वी वांट बट इवन देन वी विल बी एबल टू हैव द इंडिविजुअल इन्वेस्टर विल बी एबल टू हैव द पॉजिटिव बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट व्हाट आर द पेंशन फंड्स पेंशन फंड्स आर एन एसेट पूल दैट अकोमोलेट ओवर एन एम्प्लॉयज वर्किंग ईयर्स एंड पेज रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट ड्यूरिंग द एम्प्लॉयज नॉन वर्किंग ईयर्स तो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ द पेंशन फंड्स दैट द फंड्स दे पूल द फंड्स दीज फंड पूल द एसेट दे पूल द फंड एंड अकोमोलेट डेट आर अकोमोलेटेड ओवर द वर्किंग लाइफ ऑफ एनी वर्कर एंड benefits are paid to the worker during their retirement age when they are not able to work when they do not have the potential to work and when they do not have enough money to uh, spend a comfortable life we can say ke pension funds uh, basically help us to accumulate our uh, some specific amount of money during our potential working life and we can save that money for our uh, uh post working life when we are retired and we have, have no more potential to work for uh, uh, for more money to comfortable life pension funds are investing the funds according to a stated set of investment objectives in securities and the types are treasury bonds corporate stocks and bonds and real estates then we have another type of uh, these other uh, investment tools they are hedge funds Hedge funds are unregulated private investment partnerships, limited to institutions and high net worth individuals, which seek to exploit various market opportunities and thereby to earn larger returns than are ordinary available. They require a substantial initial investment from investors and usually have some restrictions on how quickly investors can withdraw the funds. इन हेज फंड्स में इनिशियल जो इम्पोर्टेंट और सब्सटेंशियल इनिशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड और इट आल्सो द अर्ली विदड्रॉ इज विदड्रॉल इज प्रोहिबिटेड एंड रिस्ट्रिक्टेड तो देर फोर वी विल हैव ए गुड बेनिफिट वी विल हैव ए हायर बेनिफिट एट द एंड ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट अगर हम एक तो सब्सटेंशियल इन्वेस्टमेंट करें इसमें और सेकेंडली वी अवॉइड अर्ली विदड्रॉल अगर हम अर्ली विदड्रॉल जो है उनकी बात ना करें क्विकली जो है वो विदड्रॉल ना करें और वी हैव रिस्ट्रिक्शन वी कीप आर आर मनी विद दज फंड तो वी आर एबल टू बिकॉज इन दी हेजिंग दंड आर वेट फॉर द सिचुएशन समाइम दे इन्वेस्ट इन द फ्यूचर पीरियड वेन दे आर लाइक टू गेट मोर बेनिफिट तो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट डेट इफ वी इन्वेस्ट इन दंड सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी एंड वी डू नॉट एंड टेक फ्रीक्वेंट विदड्रॉ सो डेट वी कैन हैव हैंडसम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी आफ्टर दी मेच्योरिटी टाइम पीरियड हेज फंड टेक कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड स्पेकुलेटिव पोजिशन एंड कैन बी वेरी रिस्की इट कुड बी नोटेड डेट ओरिजिनली दी टर्म हैज मेड सम सेंस वेन एम्प्लॉयड टू दीज फंड दे वुड बी कम्बाइनिंग डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्लूडिंग डेरेवेटिव ट्राई टू हैज रिस्क वाई सीकिंग हायर रिटर्न बट टू डे दी वर्ल्ड हैज इज मिस अप्लाइड टू दीज फंड बिकॉज दे जनरली टेक एन एग्रेसिव स्ट्रेटेजीज इन्वेस्टिंग इन स्टॉक्स bond and other financial uh, market assets around the world and their level of risk is also high uh, up till here we will stop up till uh, here uh, because we have finished the topic and next topic we will start in next class and uh, i would like to summarize my uh, my topic that we we did in this class we did the other investment vehicles different types of other investment vehicles and then we did the other investment tools in detail we have a number of other investment vehicles we have the short term uh, investment we have long term investment and we also discuss the other uh, investment uh, types this may we discuss the insurance and uh, we discuss the no, um, uh, the uh, different funds for example pension funds and hedge funds uh, that's it inshallah we will continue uh, the topic in next class allah hafiz